huevos al plato. We have our ingredients ready. The ham, our onions, our tomatoes, uh, the stock is in the freezer, but we're gonna get this started. Once the butter is melted, you want to, we want to nicely cook the ham and the pork. We let those get well done before we add any of the onion or the tomatoes. Don't forget a little salt and pepper for your pork and ham. If you're using sharp uh, pork chops, do not add extra salt. I'm using just regular pork, so a little bit of extra salt is always good. Once the pork and the ham has a little brown, we'll add the onions. We'll let them get nicely soft in there. We don't want to add the tomatoes yet. Once the onions are uh, taking that transparent color, we're going to add the tomatoes. Let's let it simmer all down. We're going to give those tomatoes about five minutes in together with the pork. Once the tomatoes have softened like so, you're going to add the broth, the stock. Now we add one spoon of flour to make that thicken a little bit. We don't do it directly on the pan. You want to dissolve that on the outside a little bit with the same broth, the juice. We'll dissolve that and then add it to the pan. To your whole mixture. That is the, the tablespoon of flour. So you want it to grab that nice texture all together right there. Let it simmer a little bit so it gets thickened up. Okay, once that, that sauce has thickened, you're gonna put it all and let it in that oven proof plate. You don't put anything on the bottom of the of the plate, okay? So just let it sit there. And now we're going to put the eggs in there. Preheat your oven to 350, okay? Let's make sure they don't crack open. You want to cover the whole area. Just crack each egg. We're gonna add a little bit of salt and pepper. A little bit of pepper, and once it's done, it just goes right into the oven. After the 20 minutes, ooh, our eggs are done. You don't want to overcook it. And voila, huevos al plato Spanish breakfast.